folks, how's it going? A uh, wee video for you today, uh, just showing you some of my, uh, my well some of mine, all my Visionaries collection. Um, unfortunately, there is a design fault with these fucking Visionaries because you can't, I can't find stands to fit their, their, their pegs, their holes in their feet. I tried the NECA ones, they were too small and they are a bastard to stand up. So, I've laid them all down. <laughs> Uh, I had a couple of them on the stands that I've used blue tack and all sorts of other tit, but it's not working. So I'm just going to show you them. I've got all of them complete with accessories bar two. I have got recon, but he's not here. Uh, I've actually got two recons. Both of them, one of them's got a chest plate uh, and the other one's got an out. But I, I mean, to get recon with his helmet and his weapon you're talking big money so but I have got the figure so I have got them all I'm just lacking a few accessories but we'll go through them anyway uh, this one here is cryotech he is got the totem of the bear and there's his power staff and his weapons like a a bowline with like maces on the end uh, you can swirl it around his head and all sorts of toots so that's him pretty sweet uh, next up we've got Ektar, um, if you watch the cartoon, Ektar used to be a cop, um, his totem is the fox, so he's complete, I've got his weapon and his helmet and his totem, so that's pretty good. Uh, next up we've got Witherquick, um, his totem is the uh, cheetah, and he has the power staff, uh, this power staff makes him go really really fast after he says his little poem, <laughs> or his wee song, um, sorry I should have said Cryotech's uh, totem is this big massive sort of bowman who flies out and fires a big arrow at the Darkling Lords, um, so yeah that's his, sorry, that's his, uh, so Witherquicks is the one that makes him go really really fast and he can travel yeah, across the country in a matter of seconds, so that's him, <clears throat> then we've got Feral, he turns into the wolf, um, Basically, if they didn't have power staffs, so like Ektar and Feral, they could drive the vehicles because there was no uh, power. It was all magic in the world that they live in. So it was like a futuristic world, but with magic, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Just check the cartoon out. It's, just, it's, it's really, really good. Um, it's proper 80s style, and it's just top-notch. Anyway, so that's Feral. Uh, then we've got Mortred. This is um, Darkstorm, the leader's uh, sort of. It's not his second in command. It's kind of his little follower who, who's always trying to please him and stuff, and basically kisses his ass all the time. Uh, he turns into a beetle. <laughs> uh, so I've got his helmet and his weapon. That's him. Uh, then we've got Leoric. Leoric is the leader of the Spectral Knights. He turns into a lion. Uh, his power staff is like wisdom. It, they always basically if they're in a bit of a fix, he fl he says his little rhyme, and it just basically tells him another sort of a clue of how to fix the situation, but in a cryptic kind of riddle. So it's a fucking useless part of stuff. It doesn't actually tell you anything. It just gives you another riddle. But um, the expression on his pus when he's trying to identify what the fuck he's on about is just quality. <laughs> so yeah, you've you've got to got to check the visionaries out. But anyway, that's Leoric. He's the leader of the Spectral Knights. And the leader of the Darkling Lords is Darkstorm. He turns into a, like a futuristic kind of... It's like a lizard with a shell called a mollusk. Um, so yeah, that's him. And his power staff is like a dragon who is decay. And, his, and the dragon comes out and it can like make things rot type thing. Uh, and he comes with an axe. So yeah, he, he's pretty cool. He's definitely my favourite, Darkstorm. He's, he's, in fact, he's not my favourite. Because this guy's my favourite, uh, Cravex. This is the first one I ever had, actually. Um, I had Cravex and I had Witherquick first off. Uh, Cravex turns into another futuristic kind of beast. It's like a flying sort of dragon thing. <sighs> I can't remember what that is now. The Mylot? The Vylot? Mylot? Something like that. Uh, he comes with some sort of... It's like a futuristic... Futuristic... Futuristic uh, sort of axe. And his power staff is uh, fear. It's basically a spider. There it is there. Uh, and the spider just makes everyone scared of everything. 
<laughs> basically he uses that the spiders kind of bite the spiders will pop out it can either be one massive spider or loads of little ones and they bite you and you're fucking shit scared of everything that comes near you so uh yeah that's Cravex. He's also absolutely bananas. He just loses the plot. Uh, he starts fighting with his own soldiers and that, his own sort of colleagues. He's just mental. He's got a crazy ass voice. Uh, he's just just sick in the head. <laughs> so he's definitely my favourite, actually. Then it's Darkstone, but Cravex is mental. You've got to check him out. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Sindar. He turns into a big gorilla. Sindar and Cryotech are like enemies, um, basically, because one turns into a gorilla and one turns into a bear. But these two are like the muscle for each for each side. So he's like the muscle for the, the Darkling Lords and Cryotech's the muscle for the Spectral Knights. Um, he comes with some sort of club and he's got the, the power of destruction. Um, so basically, and yeah, this power staff... It's got the wrong sticker on it, so I drew, actually I'm cheating a wee bit because I do need the right sticker on this power staff. But it is his power staff. Um, basically, it's a massive beast that comes out and it just smashes every, everything up and just causes havoc. Uh, so that's his power staff. So that is Sindar, and then we've got uh, Lexor, who's like the coward of the uh, Darkling Lords. He turns into an armadillo, <laughs> and his power staff is like a, a force field. Um, around you basically uh, so that's him uh, usually basically what happens in the cartoon is he puts his force field up and Cryotech bursts the force field with his bow and arrow thing out of his so they always neutralise each other so I don't even know what the fuck they bother uh, but, uh, his weapon's like a sort of boomerang thing but honestly he just any sign of trouble he's fucking hiding under a table or running in the opposite direction a proper pussy uh, but in fact, even Mortred is more of a fucking man than Lexor. He is just a pussy. <laughs> uh, and the final one I have in the collection um, is Arzon. He turns into a, an eagle or a falcon. I think it's an eagle. Uh, and his power staff... His power staff is actually very similar <laughs> to Leoric. Um He gets the... I think this is the bearer of knowledge. So basically... This power staff, if he has a question, he wants to solve something, it'll actually answer the fucking question. Where Leoric's power staff just kind of skirts around the edges, just kind of not even telling you the right answer, just kind of offering maybe a couple of suggestions in a riddle form. Arzon's gets the job done. <laughs> so basically, that's a poor man Arzon's uh, power staff. And he comes with a, a kind of a metal sort of spiky club thing. Um, yeah, so that's him. Uh, yeah, so definitely worth a check out. Uh, the f it took me a while to get all these. I have to say they're not the cheapest, especially with the weapons. Um, but I still need uh, Feral's weapon, and I still need. I have got Recon, but I still need his helmet, and his, he's got like a spiky sword. I saw his weapon recently in a job lot, but it was just I couldn't justify it buying it just for that. So I might do eventually. I'm gonna have to because I want to get them all. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to pick up some of the vehicles. I think there's two vehicles. Or th no, there's three vehicles. Is there three or is there four? Hold on a minute. One, two. Ah, there's four vehicles. Um, the four vehicles that are in the show. So I'll pick them up too at some point. Um, but just thought I'd let you sh let you see them. And if you haven't seen the Visionaries, you've got to get it watched. It's just top banana like. Um, it's really good. The theme tune's absolutely brilliant. And I mean, these they're knights in the future and they turn into animals, for fuck's sake. What more do you want? <laughs> All right, folks, sorry for the shaky camera. Um, I'll be back on the tripod for the next uh, the next episode. And also, uh, cheers to the couple of uh, new subscribers. Uh, welcome aboard. Um, welcome aboard the Toot Wagon. And, <laughs> and yeah, that, it's great. So thanks very much. And I'll see you all soon. Cheers.